Yes, yes, there is more to life than what meets the eye and the mind. This is the basic message of the sacred uh, text of the East, the sacred uh, Eastern revelation, a big affirmation, Om, yes. It is an answer to the question that human life constitutes. Human life is a question. The question is, why am I? Hmm? Why do I exist? Why do I have to suffer? This is a question that is different than the kind of questions that arise in less complex forms of life. In the less complex forms of life than human life, questions of how arise. How to eat, how to sleep, how to uh, maintain oneself, how to defend oneself, how to mate. Uh, these questions are there for us as well in human, in human society, in human consciousness. But we have another question, and it's a more pressing question. The why question. Why am I? What am I? And this is a question that nature cannot answer, or can only answer indirectly. It's a question about the nature of being. It's a question that consciousness is asking about itself as it starts to surface in, in human life and be aware of itself. Um, it's, a, it's an extraordinary time, if you will, to live, human time. Nature wakes up to the fact that it has a soul and it wonders about it. It's hard to imagine that, uh, that, that consciousness is a product of biological evolution because what advantage does it uh, afford human society with regard to the struggle for existence? It seems to put human society kind of on, on hold, <laughs> in a sense, and perplexed and, 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 and uh, somewhat uh, uh, bewildered uh, rather than just focusing on the basic animal necessities and so forth. Now we've become focused on, on, on something else, and it's, and it's arguably a greater necessity. It's a necessity, and it's a, it's, 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 it, it's a need, it's a question that arises from consciousness itself. Therefore, as I say, it cannot be directly answered by the natural world. Hmm? And the sacred text, or the whole idea of any form of revelation in, inspired and appearing through uh, sadhus, saints, and so forth, as it does, largely, um, is, that, that, that revelation is an, an outreach, if you will, from the subjective world, the depths of that, from God to, to humanity, it is a, an, an answer to the question, the vague kind of question that human life is, of why am I? Do, is there a higher purpose in life? Is there more, as I say, to life than what meets the eye and the mind? And the, the basic answer is yes. And move in this direction, another direction, rather than, the, rather than in the direction of taking and exploiting the natural world for uh, animal purposes. Hmm? to move in a different direction and become a giver, become a lover, and thereby a knower of a self that is far more beautiful than the animal self, if you will, the atma. And that atma is beautiful. And uh, of the nature of, uh, it is of an enduring nature. It is, uh, uh, it is knowledge and it uh, is bliss or has the capacity to, to, uh, to taste bliss, ecstasy, and so forth. And why? Because it is a derived entity. It is, a deri it is derived from this, the, the, like a ray of sun, if you will, from the, from the source, from the sun itself. The Godhead is by nature sat, chit, ananda, existence, knowledge, and bliss. And we are derived existence, derived knowledge, derived bliss, not independent knowledge, bliss, and existence. 
And so uh, going within the self, moving away from the taking of, and exploiting of the natural world and thinking that by adding things on, I'll improve my life, my life will become better. Um, to let go of the things and the tendency to acquire and the attachment that takes the life out of things by way of um, seeing them and attempting to utilize them only for small purposes derived in the, in the, in the mental uh, system hmm, that conform with the, the uh, uh, conventional sense of self. Uh, so to, 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 to uh, move beyond that and move in the direction of the absolute, our source, our consciousness source, a significant consciousness other, if you will, there in relation to that object, that subjective object, if you will, super subject, uh, uh, our consciousness source, we being consciousness as well, in relation to that, in relation to the Godhead, that is, we can t t taste immortality and and ecstasy, living in a life, if you will, really, of of absolute giving. Hmm? 